Today I'm filming the 2021 Toyota Land Cruiser here. My tester is painted in this classic silver metallic paint, which looks really good with the chrome accents here. But unfortunately I have some sad news to report. Toyota will be discontinuing the Land Cruiser name here in America in 2022. So right now is the perfect time to come over to your local Toyota dealership and buy a Land Cruiser here. If you're looking for an iconic name, also a true off-roader, the Land Cruiser is not a bad option here. But looking here at the front fascia here of the Land Cruiser, the Land Cruiser is not a bad looking uh, off-road SUV here. Looking at these headlight modules, they're gonna be an LED projector bulb with an automatic low and high beam. There is an incandescent turn signal with an LED daytime running light. And Toyota does throw in LED fault lights here, lower part of the bumper. There is front parking sensors here. And the Toyota emblem that does have the dynamic radar cruise control. And it's also a front facing camera. Like I mentioned, this is a true off-roader, so you need all types of technology around this vehicle, preferably with the cameras and whatnot. And underneath here, Toyota does throw in a skip plate. Also, these tow hooks here. I wish they were painted in red, but they're painted in black. And Toyota says it does have an approach angle at 32 degrees. So just in case you want to take this thing uh, rock climbing and whatnot, you can definitely do so. There is these sharp bulges here in the hood. Honestly, the exterior paint with the chrome accents here look really good. I do like the horizontal bar here in the front grille. But making our way to the side profile here, looking at these tires, these are a 28560 tire. They're wrapped in this 18 inch rim design. Honestly, I sort of kind of like this rim setup here. There's a multi spoke finish there. Well, of course, this thing does have your traditional uh, SUV look a boxy shape. There's an LED sight marker here on the mirror cap. My Tesla does have a standard sunroof. Toyota does not offer a panoramic sunroof here on the Land Cruiser. There's also these roof rails here. We're making our way to the rear here of the Land Cruiser. Looking at these tail lights, they're going to be an LED combination with an LED brake light, with an incandescent turn signal, with an incandescent reverse light. There's your Toyota badge there with your Land Cruiser name, which is spelled out here. There's this good old V8 badge there. And down here, Toyota does throw in rear parking sensors, and you can also tow around 8,100 pounds. There's that single exhaust tip here. There's even mud flaps here on my tester. And the spare tire does lift underneath the vehicle. This does have a departure angle of 24 degrees. So like I mentioned, this thing is a true off-roader here. Open up the car capacity back here. This does have a power lift gate, just like the BMW X5. It does have a split tailgate here. You can, once you click that and bring this down, you can also sit on this just in case. This does have a shallow amount of storage back here, but you can definitely put a couple bags and groceries and whatnot, but to fold the third row uh, seating here just pull this little lever here but first i'm sorry you can pull the headrest down here you pull this the seat will flop down you grab this little handle here and once you hear that click that means that the seat is locked into place so it won't be flapping around as you're driving on or off road and to lower it back down you grab this handle here and grab the seat and you grab this handle again and you, flick, and you fix the seat and you fix the headrest, of course, and there you go. But let's hop into the interior here of the Toyota Land Cruiser. So I'm sitting inside the interior here of the 2021 Toyota Land Cruiser here, looking at this interior. This interior does not look too bad. This is my first time filming the Land Cruiser here, but to start up the Land Cruiser here, once you shut the door, the door is pretty heavy and it's pretty solid. But to start up the Land Cruiser, just put your foot on the brake and press the start stop button right here. My tester, of course, has Toyota's 5.6 liter V8. Looking at the door panel material is gonna be a soft touch ejection molded plastic. There's his aluminum painted door handle here. Your lock controls are here. You can also lock the windows. It is one touch up, one touch down for our four windows. I kind of wasn't expecting that. This is aluminum painted trim here for the grab handle. There is three person memory seats here with some wood trim. There's a nice padded area here to rest your elbows. And down here is gonna be storage with a cup holder. Over here, there's some buttons here for the power mirrors here. Once you unlock and lock the vehicle, the mirrors will power fold in. If you guys wonder what this button is right here, this is for the headlight modules. You can clean them just in case it was kicked up with dirt or dust. There's parking sensors and automatic high beam switch here. You can also adjust the mirror controls from there. Your fuel cap opener and hood latch is gonna be down here. This does have a power tilt telescoping wheel. It does have a, a decent amount of adjustability. Looking at the steering wheel here, there's this wood trim with leather with also some stitching here as well. There's your headlight stock here and turning signal stock. And over here, there's your wind wiper stock there. Looking at the steering wheel, does have a nice airbag cover here that I like with stitching. This little toggle switch here, you can customize this LCD display here front and center. It is a small helper screen here. We can show you your 
uh, eco indicator also your range until empty I've been averaging 15.9 miles to the gallon which is not pretty good but this is a thirsty V8 of an engine you also have your speed uh, there it does have analog gauges here for the RPM the speed also your battery voltage your fuel uh, gauge there also your coolant temperature with your oil pressure so just in case you don't like full LCD displays uh, Toyota keeps it really simple here on the Land Cruiser there is some functions here for the Land Keep Assist the adaptive cruise control this does have the old Toyota stock here for the dynamic radar uh, cruise control this thing will stop and go for you over here there's some functions for the volume control the voice command the option to answer and hang up the phone here honestly I do like the steering wheel here of course it's an old steering wheel design the push button start is going to be right here it's nice and padded here with leather this is for the four collision warning here there's more buttons of course you can also turn off the power function for the power lift gate this is how you actually open the lift gate there looking at this uh, infotainment system here this does have the intune system this is a nine inch display here um, i do have my iphone 11 pro max connected here um, i thought my tester would have android auto and apple carplay but it does not have apple carplay i'm not too sure about the android auto but if it doesn't have Apple CarPlay, I'm pretty sure it's not going to have uh, Android Auto. But there's physical heart buttons here for uh, home, uh, for the map, also for the information apps. There's your hazard button here, audio source, the uh, button there for phone setup. I do like that this has an LCD display here for the climate. Uh, so you can see what the temperature is. There's physical buttons here just in case you want to make it hot or cold. There's these big knobs here for the volume and tuning knob. There's this little flap here for the map. You have to insert an SD card here. And over here, there's a wireless phone charger. And unfortunately, my iPhone 11 Pro Max does not fit. So you have to leave this open. If you have, if you have a smaller phone that's compatible with the wireless charging pad, you can uh, fit that in there and you can close this off. My Tesla does have a heated wheel function here with three level heated and cool seat, which, which I was not expecting here on the Land Cruiser. Like I mentioned, this is my first time filming one. Putting the Land Cruiser into reverse here. As you guys can see here, looking at the backup camera, this does have trajectory with front and rear parking sensors. There's also a wide angle there, just in case you want to see around the vehicle even better. There is a top-down 360 view. The backup camera here is pretty good, even though the GoPro is not picking up the uh, resolution. It looks look like it's flickering, but that's what the camera is picking up. But it's not actually flickering. But putting the Land Cruiser here into its sport mode here in the transmission, it does have the 8-speed automatic transmission that Toyota offers putting it back into park there is some more buttons down here this does have stability control you can also lock the center diff there this does have option to basically activate the crawl control here but this thing can also turn for you if you're on a tight uh, trail and whatnot this is for the four high you press this to go into a four low and whatnot but the truck has to be it has to be in neutral in order to do that this does have up and downhill assist there this does have a crawl mode, like I mentioned up here. This is for the standard sunroof. Toyota does not offer a panoramic sunroof from the Land Cruiser, but there's an SOS button there. As you guys can see, this does have LED lights throughout the whole entire cabin. And here is going to be for the sunglass holder. Great visibility out of the Land Cruiser here. There's more wood trim here on the dashboard. Also, the glove compartment is pretty big, and it does have uh, two shelves here for additional storage. The seats in here, they're comfortable, they're supportive, they hold you in place. The center console here is nice and padded here. It does have a shallow amount of storage there. And my tester has a refrigerator inside here, which is pretty neat. I do have my bottle of water in there. And honestly, this thing is really cold. It has my bottle of water uh, to be really cold in this fridge. You can also turn it on and off if you would like. Uh, looking at the key fob here for the Land Cruiser, there's a lock, unlock a trunk release function a panic button there and i do like the design here in the back it does say land cruiser with the tire uh, marks there nice sturdy key put in your purse or in your pocket two cup holders here and this button here this is how you access the 360 degree camera it does show you the front facing camera here and the front here you can go to auto and whatnot you can also show you it will show you what the front tires are doing and whatnot here on the screen but overall the interior of the land cruiser is not a bad place to spend time but let's hop into the second and third row so to get into the second row here of the toyota land cruiser the toyota makes it pretty simple they give you these running boards here also this grab handle here for short people like myself i'm only five foot eight but getting back here in the second row here of the land cruiser honestly the seats they feel really plushed and they're really comfortable looking down here toyota does throw in your own set of climate control there is rear air vents back here 
uh, heated seats and whatnot. I wish I would offer cool seats. There is a 12 volt to keep you connected just in case you wanted to charge your iPhone and whatnot. There is two map pockets back here for additional storage. My Tesla does have a standard sunroof. Toyota does not offer a panoramic sunroof here on the Land Cruiser. There is LED lights throughout the cabin. Your air vents live up top, but shutting the door here, the door sounds pretty solid and it does feel heavy just like the actual front door here. And Toyota does throw in this nice recline function, this little handle here on the side. So if you wanted to recline on a long road trip, you can definitely do so. And this is one of the best reclining, <laughs> reclining seats that I tested so far. You actually have a really good angle. If you guys can see, you have a really good angle that you can lay down. But putting the seat back up here, putting this armrest down here, Toyota does throw in some additional storage. Also with two cup holders here. If I exit, oh, okay, there you go. There is two cup holders here that Toyota throws in. But let's hop into the third row of the Toyota Land Cruiser. So to get into the third row here of the Toyota Land Cruiser, like I mentioned, Toyota makes it pretty simple. They give you these running boards, a grab handle, if you wanted to sit into the second row here. But to get into the third row, they put the little release lever here. You pull that, pull it again. The seat will catapult itself up once you push, once you grab this little lever here. But getting back here into the third row, Toyota makes it pretty simple, like I mentioned. Um, as you guys can see, my knees are basically semi up to my chest here, but I do have plenty of space here. You guys can see my knees are not touching the second row here. Uh, I do have plenty of foot space underneath the, the second row here. There is LED lights back here, of, of course. Basically, I'm not going to lie to you guys, the third row is not a bad place to sit, but I just wish that the floor is a little lower because my knees are up in the air. Your air vents live up here. It's going to be storage, cup holders and whatnot also on this side but overall the third row is not a bad place to sit here in the Toyota Land Cruiser. So I have the hood open here for the 2021 Toyota Land Cruiser. Let's see what powers the Land Cruiser here. This has Toyota's 5.6 liter V8. It makes 381 horsepower, 401 pound feet of torque. It's paired with an eight speed automatic transmission. And as the Land Cruiser sits, it weighs a tick over 5,000 pounds. Fuel economy is rated at 13 in the city, 17 on the highway and 14 combined. And of course, the Land Cruiser does not have great fuel efficiency, but you don't buy this car or this SUV for fuel efficiency, you buy this thing because it's a true uh, off-roader and also has that true iconic name to it. You can also tow around 8,100 pounds. So starting off in the 2021 Toyota Land Cruiser here, um, while I'm filming it, it's on this little grassy part here. So the Land Cruiser should be able to do it. Of course it could do it. It's a iconic name in Toyota's lineup. This is the biggest vehicle that Toyota offers in their portfolio and honestly just driving on this grassy gravel uh, part here the Land Cruiser sucks up the bumps in areas here pretty good even though of course it's a big SUV so it's gonna rock and sway a little bit but it's nothing too scary to flip this vehicle of course this vehicle weighs around uh, it weighs a tick over 5,000 pounds this has the company's 5.6 liter V8. It makes 381 horsepower and 401 pound feet of torque and it's paired with an eight speed automatic transmission. You could tow around 8,100 pounds. So just in case you wanted to tow, you could definitely do so. Visibility out of the Land Cruiser here is pretty good. You have a good command of view of the road. Uh, I would say the hood here does have these uh, bulges in them, but you can see over that just fine. It's a V8, it sounds pretty good, of course. Uh, the HP automatic pair with this thing is pretty good to respond, once you put your foot down. So it's pretty good to shift. Uh, fuel economy is rated, rated at 13 in the city, 17 on the highway and 14 combined. That's, um, that's not pretty good in the sense, that's not really good fuel economy. Of course, this vehicle weighs over 5,000 pounds. And of course, you could probably get better uh, fuel economy in world war testing. I've been averaging around 15.9 miles to the gallon, which is not bad fuel economy, of course, in this uh, for this Land Cruiser here. But this thing does feel like you're piloting, piloting around a 5,000 plus uh, vehicle here. The steering feel is really playful. I'm legit going like this, and the car is completely staying straight. Um, this does have Toyota Sense. Uh, this does have Blind Spot Monitor with a dynamic radar cruise control. 
uh, emergency braking. It does have a plethora of cameras around the vehicle. Of course, this is an iconic uh, vehicle here that Toyota offers. It's one of the biggest vehicles that Toyota offers. So if you're looking for a good daily driver that can put your family and their cargo in it, the Land Cruiser is not a bad option. It does have a really good ride quality if you're not pushing it uh, too hard. The Land Cruiser does drive pretty good. It is quiet in this interior here. Honestly, I have no complaints with, I don't hear any uh, outside noise like wind, any traffic, but this car, or SUV, I'm sorry, does uh, drive pretty good. Like I mentioned, it does have a V8 underneath the hood. The uh, fuel economy is not this vehicle strong suit. This vehicle strong suit is basically with reliability, durability, versatility, of course. It's a Toyota, it's gonna last forever. And right now is a really good time to buy a Land Cruiser because they're gonna be discontinuing the Land Cruiser name here in America for 2022. Um, maybe when the redesign come out, I would say purchase that one. And for how much Toyota is asking uh, for this vehicle, it's a lot of money. It's one of the most expensive Toyotas that I tested with this being a Land Cruiser. But like I mentioned, it's, a, it's an iconic name. So you're paying for what you get. Um, this thing does have a bunch of skip plates. It does have good departure, uh, break over angles approach angles so it does have really good uh, off-road cred of course as a Land Cruiser is a really is an iconic uh, vehicle like I've been saying throughout this review but this thing drives pretty good and honestly I have no complaints the suspension feels compliant it's smooth of course like I mentioned this thing uh, you can fit your family in here and take this thing on a long road trip uh, rack up highway miles and whatnot um, you can put your stuff in the cargo area I like the, I like the way that the third row uh, close to the side instead of like folding down but I wish that Toyota would have uh, lowered the third row uh, because my knees uh, they do kind of sit up close to my chest now, I'm only five foot eight but that third row is gonna be really reserved for uh, smaller kids the Land Cruiser is not a bad option here I have no complaints great visibility great seats the three level didn't that three level heated and cool seats um, I wish my tester did have a panoramic sunroof, but this is just a standard sunroof, which is not a deal breaker for me personally um, but you do get a lot of Toyota safety sense, of course, the great reliability, the durability, like I mentioned. So basically, if you're looking for a true off-roader with an iconic name behind it and what it offers, the Land Cruiser is not a bad option. Now, after spending time with the 2021 Toyota Land Cruiser, if you're looking for an iconic SUV that can do your daily routines, the Land Cruiser is the option to go. So much as a Land Cruiser cost, Sighting price for my tester is at $85,515. My tester is light on the options here, but it does have the Toyota Guard, which is two oil changes in the filter, the paint protection, also the carpeted floor mats. My tester has an ass tested price at $92,825. Yes, I know that's a lot of money, but like I mentioned, Toyota is going to be discontinuing the Land Cruiser name here in America. So if you're looking to purchase one right now is the best time to do so. But I would like to give a special thanks to South Day Toyota for providing with the 2021 Land Cruiser. If you're in the market for a Land Cruiser, you can come to South Day Toyota and ask for Wilford. He'll get you into a new use or pre-owned vehicle. Hope you guys have enjoyed my full overview on the 2021 Toyota Land Cruiser. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at Drive On Reviews. If you guys want to support the channel, just check out the description box down below. And I'll catch you all in the next video.